Scarborough, the capital of Tobago. Images of a colonial past can be seen everywhere, and aspirations towards cultural repatriation efforts to Africa are apparent throughout. The Scarborough Market. A melange of spices stocked with bottles like a chemist's lab. The fish vending market is located at peak hours towards the back of the market. Fish pulled from the depths of the ocean are sold here. You have to ice down your fish so it won't spoil. So if my fish is good and yours is good. That is the problem. Have your bath swallowed. Before you get it swallowed, right? Oh, they just between there? Yeah. Uh, it was kingfish banks they had here. But as in Charlotte, they took it up. They called the, the fisheries department. They were concentrated with the fellows up there. Mm -hmm. Charlotte, well, father to be here. They call it tight line. Yeah, but the fellows. The next thing to this the fish, dolphin season. Mm -hmm. January, February. You make some raw. Yeah, they still do that. They I still go do that. I get go IT and take and get some old old cable. Mm -hmm. Make a raft and anchor it outside yeah. here. Next morning you come and you go around the day, you go meet them there, man. Ah, brother, we lick and play that tune for our wee boy. Ah, brother, we lick and play that tune for our wee boy. A small fishing village on the northeast coast of Tobago. Many people that live here have lived here for generations. Even more quaint and secluded is a Scarborough from major capitals. The village life is something of an experience. The villagers depend heavily on fishing. It is apart from government work, as the locals call it, one of the main industries of the area. 
fishing can be compared to life. There are various types of fishing which reflect the order to which you belong. This lady sits on the jetty every day looking for sprats. Small fish, which the men with pirogues, an order above her, use as bait. The Jackson sprats flock to the surface to feed on the unwanted fish parts thrown off from the jetty. On this day she scolds the fisherman as he throws over a fish heart. I could have used that. Fish eyes, looking, remembering a life gone by. We can see you. No coins for these animals. The pulling of seine, or seine fishing, has been a tradition of local fishermen for over 150 years. The technique remains the same. These are all fisher folk from Parla 2 there. Pulling scene on a nearby beach called Englishman's Bay. This is perhaps the only time that group effort is needed in the often singular act of fishing. Two boats pull the net in an arc with the fish trapped inside. A slow tug and pull by the men on the beach pulls the catch towards the shore. The men are an extension of the ocean with the net acting as a watery arm. Tugging with the motion of the waves, they pull the net in, drawing the trap tighter and tighter. When in shore, the fish are put into these PVC nets called bait guards. Four others, perhaps in the stomachs of a human, in an interesting recipe called fry dry, where the fish are fried and eaten. In the past, seine fishing was a community affair. Men pull seine on the beach, and if the catch was good, a conch shell would be blown, waking and alerting villagers that help was needed. For their assistance, the villagers would get part of the catch. The catch is mainly Jackson sprats, and occasionally one may find a cash fish, but not today. Jackson sprats can be used in the making of sardines. Their scales are cleaned by soaking in the sun with Sybil sweet lemon and brushing with a fex broom. A tasty meal I'm told. We can see you. But for the most part, the fish are caught and used for bait in a technique called alavi fishing.